عليكم. Welcome to today's math lesson. In this lesson, we are going to be learning about length using non-standard units. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to compare and measure length using non-standard units. You will also be able to choose and use appropriate non-standard units to measure length. For this lesson, we will use the words tall, short, long, measure, length, and units. What are we learning? So today we're going to measure the length and height of objects using other small objects as a unit of measurement. Don't forget to click here and you will be directed to a video. Enjoy watching the video. What do they mean by non-standard units? A non-standard unit can be anything that you can find and you use it to measure the length or the height of an object. Let's look at some examples. Feet. We can use our feet to measure objects. Our hands some blocks, some paper clips, or even pencils. There are some rules that we need to follow when we measure the length of objects. The objects we choose to measure the length of other objects is known as the unit of measurement. Let us look at the rules. Rule number one. The unit of measurement that we choose must be the same and not a mixture of different objects. That means that we need to use the same object all the time. We cannot use different objects. So we cannot use hands and feet. If we're measuring an object, we need to use only one object. So here we need to use only feet. We cannot use feet and hands. Rule number two. The unit of measurement we choose must be the same size. So if we are using all feet, we cannot have one big foot and then one small foot and then one big foot and one small foot. We need to use the same size foot all the time. So the object must be the same and it must also have the same size. Rule number three. The unit of measurement can't have any spaces between each one. So we cannot measure two and then leave a space and then put one and then one. No, they all need to be right next to each other. Or they need to have the same amount of space in between each other and that is how we're going to get the best way of measurement. Let's measure some objects using different units of measurement. You can also go have a go at estimating the length before the answer is revealed. Now <clears throat> let us see how many feet long is the tub. Can you guess how many feet long would the tub be? Maybe write down your estimate. Let's see. One, two, three, and four. So the tub is four feet long. Amazing. Here we can see that we followed all the rules of measurement. We use the same object. We have no spaces in between each other. And we have the same size. Let's try another one. How many hands long is the tub? Do you think we will use more hands than feet or we will use less hands than feet? Let's check our answer. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. The, the, the tub is seven hands long. 
it was four feet long but now it is seven hands long so here we can see that even though we use the same tub when we measured using something different we got different answers we have more it the tub is more hands long than feet long now let's try to measure the height of the door and using the blocks. How many blocks long do you think the door is? You can estimate your answer and write it down. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, 9. So the door is nine blocks long. Amazing. Let's see how many pencils long is the door. Count with me. One, two, three. Amazing. The door is three pencils tall. Can you figure out why is the pencils why do we use less pencils and more blocks we use less pencils because the pencils are taller than the blocks so we will need a few a fewer pencils to measure the door now let's look at marvin how many jars tall is marvin can you estimate how many jars tall he will be? Let's get, let's count. One, two, three, four, and five. Marvin is five jars tall. Amazing. Let us look at Marvin again. And this time we will measure Marvin using a soup can. How many soup? Can tall is Marvin. Let's count. Do you think he will be more cans or less cans than the jars? Let's count and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Marvin is seven cans tall. So here we can see. That Marvin is more can stall than jar stall. Can you guess why he's more can stall? Yes, because the cans are smaller than the jars, so we will need to use more cans than jars. Be sure to complete this activity in your maths copybook. Measure, count how many blocks are used to measure each object and you can write it down. We have come to the end of today's lesson. I hope you all enjoyed it. Assalamu alaikum.